Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Sarah's Coloring Book Reviews and today I have a book sent to me by Mark Coyle. Um, this is what he sent me. Um, he contacted me and asked if I would do a review of his book. Let me get the zoom out here. Um, so this is what he sent me. Sweet Dream Animals um, by Mark Coyle, Global Doodle Gems. Let me zoom in a bit now that I can see how far away I actually am. Um, very cute cover. I have not had a chance to look inside this book yet. I am so behind on my reviews. Um, this was sent to me um, October. It is now January. <laughs> um, but I've I've had a lot of books stacked up and then the holidays happened and I just didn't get a chance to do it till, till right now. Um, so anyway, this is the cover. This is the side here. Here is the spine. Dimensions of the book are eight and a half by 11. Make sure that's 11, hang on just a second. Yes, eight and a half by 11. Um, here is the back. And it gives some examples of what's inside the book, I am assuming. Here is the ISBN number. We are going to look at this book at the same time. I did open the package and flip through it and said, yeah, this is a cool book. I will do your review. Um, other than that, I have not had a chance to look at the pictures in detail other than flipping through them. So together, we're going to look at Mark Coyle's book, Sweet Dream Animals. You can get this on Amazon. So here we go. Inside the front cover, you have a nice printed page here. It says, share your colored versions with us. We love seeing your results and hearing from you. We are social. And it gives where you can reach them socially at Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, web page, all that stuff. Um, it gives copyright details and stuff down here. If you're interested in that, please pause it here. Um, forward. Um, again, please pause it here if you want to read all of this. I'm going to read some of this to you. Um, it says, no animals real or fictitious were harmed in the making of this book. That's funny. Um... The events and characters in this book, real or imagined, are entirely fictitious or nearly so. Believe me, any similarity or even the slightest resemblance to real persons, living or dead, or any transformative, transpiring, or shape-shifting modes is coincidental and not intended. This guy's funny. Um, so I, that was just the first paragraph. So I'm not going to finish reading all this, but um, like I said, if you want to read the rest of this, please pause it previously. Go that way and hit pause. So here is the table of contents um, right here. Um, and I believe these are going to be examples of the pages inside. Which is odd. Usually they put this type of thing in the back of the book. Alright, so right away I can tell you the paper quality is not great. Um, this is printer paper quality paper. Um, they didn't even try to upgrade from printer paper quality. Um, so, if you like these books this book and you want to color these pages, um, please remember you can always cut the page out with an X-Acto knife or be very careful tearing it, which I don't recommend, um, and copy it and print it off to a better quality piece of paper from your printer at home. Um, and that will be just fine.
Um, it looks like they are all printed on one side, so I am going to zoom in just a tad bit more since we don't have to worry about the other side of the page. Um, each page has um, the title of it on there, um, and it should match up with the table of contents right there um, in the front. So here we go. So I should make sure it's in the frame. So because the paper quality is thin, if you don't intend on um, printing it out on other paper, I would definitely suggest colored pencil um, for this book. I would not recommend any water um, type of medium because um, it will make the paper ball up um, as you're doing it and it will ruin the whole page. Um, you'll go right through the page. So maybe this is a little too close. There we go. Scoot that up just a little bit. Oh, that's cool. I like this picture. That's neat. Giant turtle strolling through the middle of town. Um, the shading in this book has been done with dots, which is fun. Um, the more dots, the grayer it looks, the less dots, the less gray or shadowy it looks. But it will give your picture some depth. Um, definitely from far away, it will look already shaded. For those of you who have watched my videos for a while, he has a lot of cats in here I've seen so far, um, which is awesome because I love cats. Some of you have seen some of my cats in my videos. Um, well, at least their tails as they're going to get water behind me. <laughs> um, let me show you these dots that I'm talking about, if you can see all that. Even here, the darkest part of the violin, that is, th those are dots. It is not shaded. And I'm not complaining about that. I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that's different. Um, and still... It doesn't matter how you shade your picture or gray scale it, it will still look shaded and add depth to it from a distance, which is always nice. <laughs> I love, Mark, if you're watching this video, I love that you use a lot of cats. That's a cool picture. These are all really unique pictures. Definitely hand drawn, like he's saying. Um, these are really unique, and I've I've really enjoyed looking at this book. So thank you, Mark, for sending this. Um, it looks like um, check out the art of Mark's first book, published by Global Doodle Gems, called Celestial Creatures. This one looks really cool, too. And here is another smaller version of what we saw in the front of the book. Um, we saw little mini versions up here. Well, back here, there are even minier versions of them. Um, and then, oh, this is great. Um, test your colors here. Um, I always like when, when people put this in the back of the book. I mean, he's done a really good job, and I like this example that he's put back here because you can't, you can not only just test your mediums to see if it does well on the paper or even on the lines, but you can test it side by side um, within, you know, lines as well, side by side lines to see how good they look in your page together side by side, which is great. 
lots of spaces for that. So well, well put together, well thought out, really nice coloring book overall. Thank you so much, Mark, for sending that to me. And thank you everybody for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like my videos down below. And until next time, happy coloring and be kind to each other.